Hello everybody, this is a little recap that we tried to put together from Wheeler Lake. You can listen in here and calling out the numbers, everybody walking down the dock. I was pretty excited. I was boat eight out this first morning and uh, it's the first time I've been in the first flight all all year long. They uh, How they do the flights, they, uh, you know, you're in each flight through the first four tournaments. So I knew I was going to be in the first flight going into this event and uh, I really tried to find an awesome school of offshore fish that I could start on or digging on a bed and I just never did. But uh, it's a fun time in the morning here. There's just all kinds of people on the docks. Normally we have a lot of fans. The weather was kind of bad here this morning, so the dock wasn't completely overloaded with with uh, fans. But people taking pictures. They check my live wells to make sure my live wells are running. They make sure my kill switch is, is working. I, I pulled my kill switch being boat eight out. I did all that prior to this. You didn't see any of this in the video, but. Uh, normally, you know, later in the pack, they, they go through the first eight or ten boats and they do that. But you just go down the dock and then they ask you what time you're due in right here. Max does to make sure you know what time you're due in and tell him you're three o'clock. Got all kinds of people taking pictures with probably who knows how many thousand dollars worth of camera. So you get outside of Ingalls Harbor and uh, I'm going right. I'm going up the river. And let me tell you, this is a long run right here. Uh, speed it up 20 times and it's just a long run this goes on forever kind of pretty scenery though it's one of the most favorite parts of my day just man it's a uh, really pretty you know it's a pretty scenery I think it'd be an awesome boat trip to take someday when I get older just start in the whole Tennessee River and go you know all the way to the Mississippi River you know actually run the whole thing would be really cool it's one of the most pretty rivers in the country uh, long run long long run i got the only other boat in front of me i think it's brent chapman up there in front of me but uh we're running we're running about the same speed it's a good thing about a nitro i, I hold so much fuel I, I really i can outrun anybody as far as distances but i chose the this section of the river i just thought it was getting a lot less pressure yeah being the first boat out i wanted to uh, i don't know i just i thought i could catch a big bag i thought my best chance for for a 20 pound bag was up there you know practice was tough it's amazing what happened in the tournament how many big fish were caught and big bags of fish were caught it was uh it was, it was overwhelming because my practice really wasn't that way i had a lot of two to two and a half pounders caught down the lake not a lot but some and and uh, you know up here i caught some three three and a half pounders four pounders there's a bridge right there another bridge just keep it running up the river it's a long ways up here but you know, pretty excited about it. I'll, I'll let you guys just watch it here and then I'll get back to talking when I get up there where I'm going. Really cool bluff right there on the left. You didn't get to see it very good, but that isn't a giant bluff. And we finally made it, made it up to the dam. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just throwing a, the new Zoom swimmer right here. Throwing it right down this wall and right off the bat, I catch a spotted bass and <clears throat> it's about a two and a quarter, two and a half pound spotted bass. And I really forgot I had the GoPro. It's been a long time since I've had a GoPro on the boat. So I really kind of forget to show the camera the next two or three, four fish catches. But uh, there's tons and tons of current right here end up catching some giant stripers and tons of white bass right here this is one of my better fish of the day and like i said i forgot to show the camera I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this thing on about a half ounce head and i'm counting it down to about 10. got it on a six two to one gear ratio reel something to kind of keep it down a little bit 17 pound test i get caught on the corner of the, the wall right there i was letting the current take it right up against it and he ate it right there and uh, it's about a three and a half, four pounder. I know you guys don't get to see it because I swing it in right here and it's behind the boat and I put it in the live wheel and get back to work. Catch maybe one more there and I uh, wasn't getting very many bites up here and here I'm sight fishing and I'll kind of be quiet so you guys can listen. I 
really like the power poles. I just I got up to where I saw that fish in practice. I locked them power poles down, and the fish were super deep. And and uh, actually found them fish throwing like a, a trick worm. Uh, he ate my worm off. I have to go back and get another zoom worm. I'm just using a little zoom finesse worm. Go back and get me another one. Just a green pumpkin. Uh, I think I was dying the tail start truce, but I don't think I took the time right here to to die it back short truce. try to sneak back up there I, I don't know I just it's one of those things I think I try to be as quiet as I can that, and then she ate it but I was able to bring those fish up and kind of find where they were in practice with, with a floating worm they wouldn't really eat it but it kind of showed me where they were and then I just I'd mark them and I came back in the tournament and I drop shot them I was excited that was my fifth one and uh, unfortunately the GoPro footage uh, I you know like I said I wasn't showing the camera I just kind of thought it there at the end of the day but uh, pretty excited to get five out of the way it's fairly early still in the morning and uh, thanks guys for watching I uh, hope to have some more of this stuff coming up this week thank you later